Okay, today's video is going to be the second stucco layer that we do on our Primavera coat. The first coat we showed in stucco video one uh, is the base coat that is more shapeable. If you can see the material we're using now, it's going to be what we refer to as marble base coat. Uh, it's a natural base coat exterior. It's stronger than the stucco that you saw in phase one. So if you're using it more for strength and sealant, you can go past step one, eliminate it, and only use this product. Uh, it is harder to shape. It does dry a little faster. Uh, we're not going to show the mixing process. Uh, we're just showing you the equipment we use because we've already demonstrated the mix process in Stucco Video 1. It's the same process. Uh, but this is what the product will look like once it's mixed. Is that we use blue masking tape, painter's tape, to mask the inside of the oven. This is going to provide a nice even transition line when we do the mortar. Uh, the base coat mortar will come to about here and then we'll peel the tape and you'll see a nice even transition line. The marble base coat requires uh, a quick dry time. So it's a little less shapeable. And we do the front face of the oven first, transitioning the marble base coat stucco with the tray transition working from the bottom of the oven up instead of from the top of the oven down like we did with the uh, stucco scratch and brown. It'll be stuccoing the front face of the oven in front of the uh, brick landing. Then he'll be doing the archway and the interior where you see the masking tape. The majority of the oven is using a standard trowel. When he does the archway, you'll see him using a bullnose trowel. Get a nice, smooth exterior finish. You may need one or two coats, depending on how you get the application going. The marble base coat is going to be much smoother than what you see with the stucco scratch and brown. So it is generally more accepting of sealcrete waterproofer and paint, which is why we use it on the Primavera oven. It provides a nicer looking painted finish. So the interior archway, the exterior archway using a standard trowel, and then you'll see him use a bullnose trowel uh, to get the excess and provide a nice smooth transition line. tool he just took out, you can see. Show me the tool real quick, Daniel. It's a nice bull nose trowel, 90 degree right angle, and he's going to use that to face the front. Allows you to shape it and get a nice clean transition. Again, the intent here is using the trowel to start at the tray and work your way up because the base coat is a little stiffer, a little harder to work with than the uh, scratch and brown. So on the scratch and brown video, you saw us dump it on the top of the dome and then work it down to shape it. Uh, on the second coat, the marble base coat, we're starting at the base and working our swells up towards the center. As the product dries over the course of about an hour, it becomes a little bit stiffer and you can remove those lines that you're seeing with the trowel. So he's going to get it fairly smooth, work his way up, and then go back and smooth those lines out and use a little bit more material to get a nice even coat finish. The blue bucket you see is just a bucket of water he's using to get some excess material off the trowel so it's, uh, when he's transitioning he doesn't get gritty lines.
So he'll get it as smooth as he can right now and delay about 30 minutes as it hardens and then he'll come out using a little bit more material on the trowel. He'll get it as smooth as possible. The last step now that it's dried enough is peeling off the masking tape that you saw him use earlier. Go ahead. See, it's a nice clean transition line now. So, providing a close up the oven, you can see a nice smooth finish. Leaving the chimney mast in the bottom. We'll be doing the seal creep waterproofing and then the painting of the oven over the next two day process. The waterproofer and first coat of the paint is the next day and then the glaze, which is the final process of the paint, will be the day after that. 